And this Bear County Justice of the Peace makes more than $125,000 a year to hear less than a quarter of the cases in his precinct. Records show the defenders weren't the only ones to question the pay of Judge Ciro Rodriguez. After county budget employees questioned his compensation last spring, they were told to stand down. Our Dylan Collier has more on an apparent push to protect the judge's pay. In late March, the defenders contacted Bear County Justice of the Peace Ciro Rodriguez and let him know court records showed he was hearing about 23% of cases in his precinct. After we told him we planned to report on that figure and the more than $125,000 salary he takes home each year, Rodriguez went to work and took part in multiple tirades over the next few days, according to sworn statements submitted by 11 court employees who witnessed the judge's actions, then documented them. Rodriguez at one point telling staff not to believe rumors about him heard in the media and that he was a full-time judge until told otherwise. In a separate argument that same week, the judge was accused of shouting at the court manager and staff after he was misinformed about a case being ready to be heard. Employees said Rodriguez's behavior made them feel uncomfortable and that Rodriguez was raising his voice over the female manager in a very aggressive way angrily shouting. One employee later writing that they had never seen anything like this. He was clearly upset. Um, I believe it was very unprofessional. Two of the 11 court employees who witnessed Rodriguez raising his voice spoke with the defenders on the condition we not show their faces and disguise their voices since they still work for the judge. He did this while our office was open for business and in front of all the court clerks. All while, while they looked on in shock. Rodriguez, who did not respond to repeated requests to be interviewed for this story, saw his pay jump from 88 grand a year to more than $117,000 as part of a short-term salary adjustment in the summer of 2018. Records show it was approved by county commissioners, including Ciro's younger brother, Chico, while Precinct 1's main judge, Robert Tejeda, recovered from a life-threatening bacterial infection. Tejeda returned to work in the fall of 2018. But when did commissioners formally make Rodriguez a full-time employee? In March 2019, budget staffers asked why he was still being paid at a full-time rate, pointing out the funding increase was only approved while Tejeda was recuperating. The county's budget director, Seth McCabe, told staff to leave the increase in place until a workload analysis of county offices was complete or until a task force led by Ciro's brother of all people had put together recommendations on how to staff the court moving forward. Here was McCabe months later, presenting a budget overview for the JP courts when he made this public statement to commissioners. We have seen a significant decline in the number of incoming cases to the Justice of the Peace Courts. County officials are now not saying much of anything about the so-called workload task force. Commissioner Rodriguez did not respond to multiple emails from the defenders for this story, and Judge Nelson Wolf who also refused to sit down with us, said the task force became moot after the passing last year of a state law that increased the jurisdiction of JP courts. That law, Senate Bill 2342, was passed last June and widens the jurisdiction of JP courts to hear civil cases up to $20,000. But as members of the Texas legislature and the judiciary have pointed out, it doesn't take effect until September of this year. Wolf also said the court's calculation of caseload, which showed Rodriguez heard only 23% of cases from last fall through this winter, should have been looked at in total, not by what judge was assigned what case. But when accounting for crossover cases or days when Rodriguez filled in for Tejeda and vice versa, the difference amounted to 144 cases in Rodriguez's favor, which increased his caseload about one half of 1%. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. In Bear County officials announced the resignation of McCabe yesterday. It takes effect on May 14th. A spokeswoman declined to discuss the timing of McCabe's departure, only that he was leaving to pursue another opportunity. Meanwhile, Judge Rodriguez has asked that an audit be done on cases assigned to both judges in Precinct 1. County officials say that audit is currently pending.